Hey guys, how's it going? It's Matt from Fidelity Gaming TV, and welcome back to another episode of Napoleon Dynamite here on MLB 14 The Show and his rookie showcase. So last time we left off, Napoleon Dynamite uh, struggled a bit in his first rookie showcase and got drafted by the Baltimore Orioles, I believe, in the fourth round, but we know he can do better than that. He did some good fielding, but of course in the showcase it's all about uh, you're hitting so we're gonna re-enter the showcase for the second time and see if we can improve on our draft status whoever we get drafted to now is who we're going to have to sign with so we did go back to school for four years and we got about I think it was 600 training points for the uh, off seasons and so here we go we have applied that we are a B potential 61 overall right now I believe and um, you know like I said, really trying to improve on the hitting. We know the fielding is there, and we know the speed is there, but, you know, we really should uh, improve on hitting. So here we go. First appearance in the showcase. we got to impress these gals. We're already down 6 nothing as a team in the top of the fourth, but Napoleon's going to rip this one down the third baseline, and that is going to be extra bases, and that is going to be dropped by the left fielder. So Napoleon will find himself easily cruising into second with a stand-up double. We'll get 17 points for that at-bat. Nice job there by Napoleon. And now he is going into his third at-bat. He's already one for two this game with a double you just saw. Down 7 nothing, but he's going to line this one into right field. Unfortunately, the right fielder will charge and make the catch, so he'll only get six points for that at-bat, but it's all right. He's in the field now, seeing what he can do. He's going to try to convert this double play. He got one out there, and he got the second out as well, so nice job. Nice fast double play from Napoleon Dynamite showing off his fielding skills and getting 10 points for it. Now the top of the ninth, nobody on, nobody out, leading off. This ball is hit pretty deep into right field, but the right fielder is going to make a catch. It's good to see that Napoleon is hitting it farther now as we have up uh, increased his power overall. So we go one for four in that game. You saw the only hit. It was a double we lose that one 7 nothing to the Western um, prospects. So we do have some points to apply. We're going to apply them now, and we're still a B potential 61 overall. But now we are going into the second game of the showcase against the Central Region, and it is some crummy weather here, a bit of rain, and it looks like it's a bit foggy out there as well. So we're going to have to deal with that, but Napoleon knows what he has to do. He's already 0 for 1 in this showcase. He's hitting 200 in the showcase altogether and he's hoping to get some more base hits and right here is going to be one as it lands in front of the left fielder nice job getting in between third and second base and as well uh, he will get an RBI so a great job there 18 points for a base hit solid contact and an RBI so now he will enter his third at bat he is one for two so far with an RBI hitting 333 we're down 2-7 to seven in the top of the 6. Napoleon is going to get this one past the third baseman. Just snuck it by the third baseman's glove. I thought he was going to catch that, but he didn't. So a nice job there by Napoleon. Gets on base. 4 pitch at bat. 17 points. And, you know, he's collecting a lot of base hits this time around. Already more than he got last time in all three games in just the middle of his second game. So that's great to see. And even better to see is another base hit for Napoleon Dynamite. Looking very sharp so far in this showcase. And he will get 12 points for that at bat. So he will go 3 for 5 on the second game against the Central Prospects. Very nice outing. They are all 3 base hits. But you know what? That's alright. The scouts are just looking for some, uh, ba you know, just stats. They're looking at stats. Base hits, doubles, of course home runs are looking at that. But getting the stats up is what we want. See there, we are B potential 61 overall. And here we go in batting practice. This ball is hit pretty deep for Napoleon Dynamite. In fact, that's going to leave the park, so it's good to see that Napoleon can hit far. I know it is batting practice, but it's definitely a start. And here we go, last game of the showcase, game number three. Already looking good is Napoleon Dynamite, trying to boost that potential up to an A potential, possibly, if he has a good game here. So here he goes, already hitting 444 in this one. Yet to hit a home run, obviously he doesn't have much power, so we're not expecting home runs, but if they come, we'll take them. 
and this is going to be a hit right down the first baseline and that is in the right field the right fielder is going to field it but speedy napoleon dynamite will get there and he will slide into second safely with a double so 14 points for that at bat and again showing off his speed so they are up 5-1 finally winning a game runner on second and this is napoleon in the field getting it done throws it over to first for the out and he'll get eight points for that fielding uh, situation so right now trying to convert a double play in the field gets one and he will not get the second out as the runner did beat it out at first so he'll get eight points for the fielding there five one now top of the eighth napoleon's gonna get a base hit here as he hits it right up the middle just really looking very sharp this showcase and definitely looking like he deserves to be drafted higher than the fourth round and possibly an A potential. So now there's runners on second and third, bottom of the ninth. He can end the game here with an out, throws over to first, got the out, and that is it for the game. So Napoleon doing very well. However, now it is time for Napoleon to focus on the draft. He goes two for four in this performance. They win the game, and now he is focusing on what he can do. So here we go with the draft. I'm going to let you guys hear it out here. And it says our projection is early first round, so that's great. We're in A potential, applying some points, and here we go. Welcome, everyone, to this year's Major League Baseball First Year Player Draft. Today, the best up-and-coming baseball talent from around the country and the world, many of whom have just recently competed in the Topps Amateur Showcase, will begin their journey as professional baseball players. Today is a day these young men have been dreaming about and working towards their entire lives. We wish them all the best of luck and look forward to watching them develop into even greater ball players over the coming years. With that said, it's time to get started. The first pick is officially on the clock. With the first overall pick in this year's first year player draft, the Houston Astros select Jonathan Kendrick, a left fielder from the West Region. With the second pick of the first round, the Miami Marlins select Wincy Pina, a left fielder from the Central Region. With the third pick in the first round, the Chicago White Sox select Rex Hatfield, a center fielder from the West Region. With the fourth pick, of the first round, the Minnesota Twins select Mario Valencia, a starting pitcher from the West Region. With the fifth pick in the first round, the Chicago Cubs select Scott Hart, a starting pitcher from the West Region. With the sixth pick of the first round, the Seattle Mariners select Carlos Alvarez, a closing pitcher from the West Region. With the seventh pick in the first round, the Philadelphia Phillies select Napoleon Dye, a second baseman from the East Region. So Napoleon Dynamite gets drafted seventh overall by the Philadelphia Phillies. Wow, what a comeback. Getting drafted late in the fourth round by the Orioles, now getting drafted seventh overall by the Phillies. is a great improvement. Glad we did that four-year college thing and we went back and redid everything. You see, we're competing with Chase Utley for the top job. I'm assuming that they drafted Napoleon Dynamite to uh, draft their future second baseman. Because if you look at all of the second basemen in this uh, roster for the Philadelphia Phillies, not many of them have much potential, whereas Napoleon Dynamite has a potential. So they have drafted their second baseman for the future because Chase Utley is old and once he goes, Napoleon Dynamite should be ready to step in in a few years, hopefully less doing some training here didn't show all of it we got 200 points gonna go ahead and apply that we are now a, a potential 62 overall so looking very very sharp is Napoleon Dynamite making the huge comeback getting drafted seventh overall in the draft by the Philadelphia Phillies and it is going to be a great road to the majors as like I said he is the Philadelphia Phillies second baseman of the future and he will be playing for the Fighting Phillies, I believe is what they're called. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to check out our channel. Make sure to check out our videos. Make sure to subscribe. And as always, peace.